going on people? Troops TV, back again. Midweek football this week. Bit of Champions League. But let's talk about the Chelsea game on Saturday first. I want to say congratulations to Arsene Wenger on your 20th anniversary. Um, I think the team put in a proper performance because <clears throat> the last milestone you had was at Chelsea again, but this was at the bridge. It was your 1,000th Premier League game and we got battered 6-0, embarrassing. Would never expect my team to lose 6-0 away to a title rival. It's embarrassing and I'm very happy that the team performed because obviously you want the team to perform for the fans, but I believe that that, that performance there was for the manager, you know what I mean? I think the 1,000th game had a lot to do with it because that was a big milestone and obviously we bottled it that day. Got uh, Chamberlain sent off. Not Chamberlain, uh, Gibbs got sent off and it should have been Chamberlain. The ref had a shocker, but um, we started that game so slow and on Saturday we started so quick, man. It was such a difference, you know what I mean? It was a bit like the main night game last season, but for me, this performance was better than that because the intensity and the game management that Wenger showed in that game shows you that, yeah, he can get it right now and again, but we want you to get it right week in, week out because we want to win this league, innit? It's been long enough and that victory over Chelsea, <clears throat> we never beat them since, I think, um, the Community Shield. I can't even remember last time we beat them before that, you know. I'm trying to think. I think it was, um, what was it? It, was, it might have been the 5-3, you know, at Stamford Bridge. But the last time we beat them at the Emirates was when we beat them 3-1 and Alex Song, Fabregas the Snake and... Walcott got the goals that day and that was 2011 man, it's 2016 and it took us five years and before that we used to batter Chelsea week in, like not obviously not week in week out but we would have loved to have played them week in week out at a point because they, that, I remember a couple of games they took the lead 2-0, we come back and drew 2-2 so um, Silvino got a rocket in the last minute, there was another game obviously the infamous Canu game when you got the hat-trick in uh, I think 15 minutes or 10 minutes, 2-0 up again, bottled it beat them in the FA Cup final 2002. We used to whip them. And then obviously Mourinho come, the whole drug were effect, the whole fear factor of drug bar, drug were annihilated us. It's good that we've got this hoodoo over Chelsea, you know what I mean? Because it's off the bat now, you get me? Hopefully we can move on, kick on from that performance. Hopefully Walcott can keep that uh, consistency in his game because he was on fire, man, you know what I mean? He was up and down that flank like a madman. He, he, was, playing like a, he, he was playing like he was possessed. Like he had a point to prove and I think he proved his point in that game but let's see if you can do it on a more consistent basis because that's what it's about consistency in your game I think Awobi had a great game <clears throat> he's playing above his years you wouldn't think he was only 20 years old you know what I mean a lot of people are talking about Ian Nacho, Rashford and whatnot obviously they've uh, they're great young talents but you have to put Awobi in that bracket because like I said to you in my uh, preview for the Chelsea game, a Wobby has magic in his feet. And obviously, a Koch's nephew, so we know the talent is already in the family. The way Alexis got his first goal, love it. Just pure desire to get the goal. Hounding the defender, Cahill made another mistake like the week before, but obviously this one wasn't a foul. This was a clean, clean tackle. Walcott's goal was <clears throat> amazing, man. It was like old school Arsenal, you know what I mean? The passing was there, quick movement. You know what I mean? Proper Arsenal, that was a beautiful goal, you know what I mean? And then obviously, the great counter-attack goal from Ozil and Alexis. Great little one-two, you know what I mean? Great ball over from Alexis to Ozil. Bit lucky on the finish, but, you know what I mean? It went in off the post. Chelsea never had their first shot until the 81st minute, I think it was. Um, great tackle from Bellerin, from Pedro. You know what I mean? Pedro thought he was through, and Bellerin showed some Jamia can't pace in, in, when, when he can't fly upon him and just boom, clean tackle, you know what I mean? A lot of desire, a lot of passion from the team, very happy. The only thing I would say that was a downer in the game was Cochrane's injury, hope that he's fine, hope that it's not too serious, but the word is knee ligaments, hopefully it's uh, not too bad, hopefully it's weeks more than months. But yeah, Xhaka came on for him, <clears throat> Xhaka did great, you know what I mean? We were asking him, we were asking him, <clears throat> sorry, we were asking him to shoot and he obliged. It wasn't a rocket, it kind of went, you know what I mean, middle tier, but everyone performed great in that game, man, you know what I mean? We never looked under threat, that's the thing, that's why I say it's better than the main night game, because the main night game, second half, main night put a, main night put a little bit of pressure on, we never, never got the goal, but in this game, 
the game management from Wenger was brilliant, you know what I mean? And another downer was when Giroud come on, it just looked dead up there, you know what I mean? So maybe that's the reason why he's not playing Giroud. Like I said, I would have picked Giroud at Forest, but then I thought about it and said Perez, so maybe Perez should have come on, but very happy with the performance and whatnot. Hopefully we can kick on from this now. Obviously we've got Basel on Wednesday at home. Our first Champions League game was away to Paris Saint-Germain. Obviously um, got the 1-1 there, very lucky to get the 1-1, but good point. Nonetheless, not a lot of teams will go to Paris and get a point, let alone get a win because uh, I don't think they've lost, I can't remember last time they lost Champions League game, but I think the record is a great record and obviously if he got his tactics right that day, picked the right team, could have got the three points, but nonetheless, great performance on my speed in that game, got us the point, so we move on. Basel drew their first game as well with Lula Goretz. Um, they also won on the weekend, 3-1 away from home. Uh, the team they were playing obviously is a Swiss, it's a Swiss league, so I don't really know, you know what I mean? The, what I know is that the team, they came from a one goal down to a 3-1, so they obviously got a bit of confidence behind them as well, a bit like us, but I believe that we will win this game, you know what I mean? I believe that the team is on form right now, everyone knows what they're doing, we're going to pick the right team, everyone's pulling in the right direction, I'm very happy to see that. Also, want to shout out the fans on Saturday quickly, because... Uh, it's been a long time that I've been at the Emirates and felt togetherness with the fans, you know what I mean? Obviously there's that split divide with Wenger in, Wenger out, uh, Wenger out, sorry, and it seems that there was a togetherness in that game and hopefully we can continue this, you know what I mean? Because end of the day, yeah, we, have all, we all have opinions, everyone's entitled to their opinion, but you know what I mean? <clears throat> if everyone agreed, the world wouldn't work, so shout out the fans as well. But uh, yeah, obviously let's get into my starting 11 for this game. In goal, obviously, Petr Cech, you know what I mean? Don't really need to say much about that. Back four will be the same, you know what I mean? It's been solid, they performed excellently against Chelsea. Costa uh, Costa was in Koscielny and Mustafi's pocket for the whole game. Costa was moaning, sulking, you know what I mean? I really enjoyed that because I said in my interview after Hull that if we get, if we get under Costa, we'll win this game. And we clearly saw that we got under him when we won the game 3-0, so the back four will be Hector Bellerin <clears throat> on the right, Mustafi, Koscielny and man like Nacho left back. The, for me, the sitting two, obviously Cochrane is injured, so my boy will get in now, definitely 100%. Granit Xhaka and a man that I was calling <clears throat> to be dropped for that game, but he performed outstandingly. Santi Cazorla starts in the midfield for me. On the right side of the attack, I would go for Walker, you know what I mean? Great performance on Saturday. Um, people will probably be shocked that I'll put him in, but you know what I mean? He's playing well at the moment. He's performing, got his goal as well, great finish. And uh, yeah, Walker starts on the right for me. <clears throat> on the left, I'm going to have to go for a Wobie man, you know what I mean? I'm going to have to go with, I'm going to have to agree with Arsene because the performance that he produced from that left side of the attack was immense, you know what I mean? Playing above his years, um, going under the radar, very happy with that. You don't need to talk about him, we know we, we know what he is, so no one really, no one, we don't need him being bigged up by outsiders. We know what he's about, so Alex Wobie will start on the left. Number 10 role, there's only one man, Meza Ozil. Obviously, he hasn't had the best start to the season, but in the Chelsea game, he came to life. We see why we call him world class. Um, he was just running the game, you know what I mean? Them balls were back, the vision was there, the interchange, the link up, everything was great. So Meza Ozil starts in the number 10 position for me. And up top, there's only one man that can go up top right now, man, and that's Alexis, because give Wenger his props, you know what I mean? Seems to be working. You know what I mean? So that's my 11. If you feel the 11 should be different, obviously you don't know what to do. Put your comment below. If you agree, just write, I agree troops. You know what I mean? And obviously, if you ain't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And the result, I believe, will be Arsenal 3, Basel 0. It's your boy Troops, and I'm out.